gone to other groups tonight so it's really just us to entertain you this is our first time doing a duo set so we're really excited to do it together yeah. 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 Uh, please follow dynamic El Dorado on Instagram to follow all the goings on there absolutely and part of, we were part of dynamic El Dorado they also have another house team called no alibi they're just as good as us and you will be plenty of entertainment in Atlanta uh, to get us started, we want a little bit of inspiration. Every yearbook committee had superlatives. So let's take a look at Ben real quick. Ben, do a little twisty twist for me. Cool. Can y'all think of what Ben might have got a superlative for? Best bracelet. Best, Best bracelet. bracelet. Oh, thank Best you. And now, artist. Most Best spirited. Artist. Spirited Ooh. bracelet. Artist. Excellent. Thank you so much. And now looking at Kim, what is the superlative that they may have received? Most popular. Most popular. Ah! I like that. Most likely, <laughs> but, but Any more? I was going to say most likely to be a CEO. Ooh, most likely to be a CEO. CEO. Success, popular. Popular. President. President. Success is what I'm hearing. Nice. Yeah. All right. Cool. I have cool. everything I need. Um, let's, let's get one more. Um, what is a location that would fit on this stage? Starbucks. Starbucks. Oh, I love me some Thanks, Starbucks. Starbucks. All right. A Starbucks that's being built and hasn't opened to customers yet. Ooh. In Burkina Faso. Wow, you guys wow. really want to challenge us at 11.30 at night. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, everybody. And you cannot leave. I mean, keep it coming. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, guys. We are your book committee. Yeah. Uh, latte, oh sorry, vanilla latte with caramel macchiato with foam pumpkin <laughs> drizzled in and creme brulee on top for Anthony. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. Guys, I'll be right with you. It's I mean, really busy in there. Okay. They haven't opened it yet. <laughs> I'm excited though, it seems like they're just making all these special drinks for when they open. <laughs> I'm telling you, these baristas are going to be some of the best baristas we're ever going to see at a Starbucks. Okay, okay, okay. There's so much stuff in here. You can visit me in Africa anytime you want. The green stuff. This is this is matcha. This is definitely matcha. I'll try the door. Oh, we're not open yet. We're, we're not open yet. <laughs> or maybe I'm just making all these wonderful drinks. Maybe somebody should try them. Sir? Yeah. Oh, hold on. I'll call you back. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Uh, are you, uh, you're not open? Wait. Johnny? Johnny Isabel, from high school. Isabel? Yes. Isabel, why are you doing Burkina Faso at a Starbucks? I love that you always walk on the sidewalk. Uh, <laughs> it's so kind of you. I do. Yeah. Um, it's, it's not my Starbucks. I don't care. You are making a lot of drinks, but I don't see anybody. Oh. There's nobody here yet. No, no, no. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're, we're practicing. It's like a soft lunch. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, if, if, uh. I don't want to ruin the flow. I don't want to ruin the barista flow or anything. But I'm literally the only one here. Okay. Uh, um, it might it might do you know my concern if you come in and try my drinks. I, you know, nobody trying them. I don't know if they're actually good or not. Um. And I'm actually three hours early for my shift. I'm I just want to perfect it for when my manager comes in. Oh, I've been taking a master class from the CEO of Starbucks. You, you have? Yeah. What, 
Wait, what? There's a whole module about tasting and being sommelier. Well, <laughs> I worked for Starbucks and they didn't offer that to me. Wait, what, what, what am I doing wrong? I, I thought people liked me. Johnny, what am I doing wrong? I thought people liked me. Wait, you didn't get the code? There's a code? The master class code, are you? There's a code? Yeah, yeah, there's a promotional code that I got in the, I, I'm subscribed to the newsletter. There's a newsletter? There's a newsletter. Oh my God, come in, please, please come in. Thank you, so cold. Oh. I'm starting to think they hired me for no reason. They're like 22 great looking uh, coffee drinks here. What do you mean? Thank you. Uh, which one do you feel like? Do you want notes on some of these coffees? All of them, please. I can't. I can give you notes on maybe three or four of them. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I can give you all notes on all 23 if I have a bucket or something. But I mean, I'll have to like taste and spit. <laughs> <laughs> You would do that for me, Johnny? Sure, yeah. I'm gonna apply. I don't know everything, but I've been looking at that module for, you know, once a week. I mean, let me just finish this matcha. Um, when are you opening this store? Let me check the calendar. November 23rd, 2024. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like you got everything ready. Like, you have everything to make coffee. I can hear a great mix from corporate. <laughs> Thank you, that's actually my, my mix. You, you don't have the corporate mix right now? <laughs> Johnny, this is my store. I franchise with Starbucks. <laughs> so I, that's why nobody's here. It's just it's actually just me and um, my mom is my manager. <laughs> so I, she scares me and I have to make these perfect. I'm not afraid of your mom. Why no? You were like the coolest chalk in high school. You weren't afraid of anything. Yeah, I'm not afraid of your mom. Not at all. <laughs> this is good. This is very good. Thank you. Which one is that one? This is better than I get at a normal star at a Starbucks. Can you read it? Uh. You spelled my name wrong. <laughs> I didn't know you were coming. <laughs> no, I'll fix it though. Well, it's sweet that you just... I wrote you a little message. You're afraid of my mom. Don't lie to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She got in my face two years ago, and I dream about that twice a year. I had four dreams about your mom being angry at me. I need you to work for me. <laughs> I need you on my team. I'm taking so many calls outside the Starbucks for the past two days. I'm super busy. What do you? What can I offer? That I mean. You you have the passcode, and they send you all the cool like memos and the emails. I don't have the ends. They, I think they're trying to push me out. It's a promo code for Masterclass that they put in the newsletter. I, I have my laptop. Yeah. Let me go to my car. Hello? Yeah, you couldn't believe who I ran into. <laughs> Starbucks in Burkina Faso, that's Isabel. Isabel's working at the Starbucks. <laughs> and her mom is the manager. No, they make coffee like it's better coffee than Starbucks. <laughs> I have to go. My hands are full. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay, can I put this laptop somewhere? Crocodile. <laughs> I didn't mean it's scary, but it's a crocodile bracelet. I think knowing that that's crocodile is the scary part of the whole thing. You're a crocodile. What are you listening to? Hey, Benny, you were the most annoying little brother I could have ever asked for. I am trying to learn my second language, okay? 
I'm about to go to Israel, though, right? And I need to perfect this, and I need you to give me some space, please. Absolutely. I'm sorry. I know you're going to Milan for Fashion Week next week, but... <laughs> I can have a cooler life than you. It's fine. Wait, are you riding your Vespa in our house again? No, I'm pantomiming a Vespa. My Vespa's parked outside. Did you get a vehicle for Israel? No, I have to walk everywhere. Yeah. I want to ride a Vespa. How long are you going to be gone in Israel again? Honey, I'm not going to Israel. <laughs> Did I, wait, are you not? Oh. Do you want to? I'm actually just listening to Taylor Swift. <laughs> I just wanted to seem cool because you're 16 and like, you just have all these cool opportunities coming towards you. You get scouted by the modeling agency. You're gonna be on CSI. Yeah. Steve Jobs' ghost keeps contacting you through your Apple Watch. That's not so cool. <laughs> it's cool the first time. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> Do you want my Apple Watch? Offer still stands. The what? Yeah, you can you can use Duolingo on the Apple Watch. <laughs> you can translate with the Apple Watch. Alright. Yeah, sure. Dress oh. from Steve Jobs. Uh, I see. You know what? I still think it'll come in handy. Thanks, okay. Benny. Okay. Do I look cool now? I look cool, don't I? You've never looked uncool. Wow, Benny. That's, that's really nice of you. Mom says the complete opposite. <laughs> She's just like, Benny this, Benny that, and as well, why can't you be cooler? Mom said, why don't, why can't you be cooler? Yeah, she's pretty intense. That's harsh. I know, it's like she, we have two different moms or something. No, right? it's... I didn't think about that. We have two different, same mom, two different moms. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, I had no idea. She's really hard on you, isn't she? Yeah. I got like a A minus the other day and she just like yelled at me. Thanks. I mean, you get C's all the time and that she doesn't seem concerned with that. Benny, we're having a legit conversation. Hey, mom, are you home? Are you in the foyer? Oh, Benny, you know that I'm in the kitchen baking those brownies you like. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to... Benny! Oh, that's my favorite boy. <laughs> oh, you're so silly. I my lap. It's just so smart. Hey, oh. I, I feel like you're unfair to... to Jackie. You're unfair to Jackie. Oh, Isabel? I'm going to say it. Yeah, Isabel. <laughs> she changed her name. She changed her name last week. Well, she my friend Jackie would play kickball and you pop the ball. And also Isabel. Whoa! <laughs> Sometimes these conversations get a little too confusing for mom. I'm just here to bake you brownies and make you happy. Isabel got an A minus and you chewed her out. Well, yeah, that's ridiculous. No, it's normal. If you're not going to be cute, you have to be smart. She works really hard. Yeah, no, she doesn't. <laughs> Why are you so concerned? Well, I thought both of us were going out of the country. I was going to go to Milan for Fashion Week, and Isab Isabel was going to go to, you know, Israel, and, and then she said that, no, I'm, I can't go. This conversation's boring me. Benny, sit down. Now, come on. Come on, come on. I got you a present. Which, ride. which large armchair do I drag up? The green one. That one's the blue one. You know I like you to be extra comfy. Close your eyes. You can actually use a chair. Hold on. Yeah, I can uh, put my leg on. Okay. <laughs> Get your eyes closed. They're closed. Benny. Okay. You're not gonna believe what this is. I can't do that for you, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Benny. Yeah. Are you feeling all right? Uh, yeah. You need some warm milk. Let me get you some warm milk. Benny, 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 please.
please, I need, uh, you, I need you to make uh, this fashion week, okay? Uh, you cannot be coming down with anything. Uh, right, sorry. We can't manufacture in Milan. <clears throat> sorry, I'm still having dreams from Steve Jobs. <laughs> I'm, I'm having residual hallucinations from the dreams from mm -hmm. Steve Jobs. Not a big deal. Mm -hmm. Not a big deal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Danny, Mama can't hear that right now. All I need to hear is that you're going to be on the front page of the New York Times as the next big thing. You can't do this to me. Maybe, maybe, maybe it won't happen. Maybe I'll go to Fashion Week, everything will be fine, but for the last little bit, every time I close my eyes for an extended period of time, I just get really angry messages from Steve Jobs. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, baby. Mom, no! Oh, no. Mom, no, is it the Steve Jobs dreams? Not again. Not again. That's how I lost my first child to Steve Jobs. <laughs> everything else fell through. So, you thanks for the job. You could have left that part out. I know, but... <laughs> I'm still happy you're here, okay? I'm happy to be here. There's not... It doesn't have to be mutually exclusive. I'm happy to be here. Also, everything else fell through. going to build a plane, but that didn't work out. It's off. Sorry. You're going to dump that down the sink. That trash is going to leak now. <laughs> I'm taking it out. It's okay. I'm just going to take the can right out to the dumpster and throw it over. I love that we have two counters. This is super efficient. You look worried about it. Good. Opening is going to be great. Yeah, I know. I, we have a really long line out the door, and um, I just—I saw the newspaper this week, and it um. Yeah, that boy's really sick. Yeah, my brother's so sick, um, and my mom, she gave up on him, and, and now she's coming here and hoping that I can carry on the family legacy. I'm gonna take out the trash. Right now? Yeah, your mom's um, coming. Johnny, you said you weren't afraid of I'm my mom. I'm not afraid of your mom. I just gotta take out the trash. But you, you... How does she sound on the phone? That's a shuffle. Shuffle usually means fear. <laughs> Johnny, do not be backing out of this. I need you. I need you. Are you going to come back? Yeah, Are you going to come back from the here. dumpster? I'm here. Okay, thank you. Well, I do, I'm taking out the trash, but I'm going to be right back. This isn't me leaving. I'm going to be back. Okay. I'm afraid of your mom. I'm really afraid of your mom. I knew you were afraid of my mom! She's unnecessarily okay. rude! Okay, yes yeah, she is, we know this! No! No! This place smells of fear! Well, she's gonna know it when she walks right in! Well, it looks fine. Everything looks great. Johnny. I'm good enough. I mean, I got lots of accolades as I grew up. I was like Miss Popular. I also was voted to be most likely to be president, and, and we know that we have like five female presidents already. Um, so <laughs> that, that's a hard competition to make. And I thought nothing is more sacred than owning your Starbucks and having it being successful. Nothing's more sacred than that. <laughs> <laughs> I even made a drink for her, a special drink. I can't even tell Starbucks about it because we're not allowed to do that. Move aside, 
prophesied, it's my daughter's Starbucks. <laughs> Mom! Hello! Mom! Mom! Good to see you. How are you? Whoa! Mm -hmm. Whoa! Whoa, thank you. Where can I put my stove? <laughs> you what? My stove! Wait, wait, what? My stole! You don't own oh, okay. stoles, that's right. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, I'll just put it over here. I'll I haven't been in a Starbucks in six years. Wow, that's such a long time. I only manage remotely. <laughs> I, I know that, Mom. I know that. Um, come take a seat. Come over to the counter. Go around. I'll or, sit on the counter this, and this. look at your customers. I'm so proud of you, my darling daughter. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Thank you. Wave to everybody outside! Look! Starbucks! <laughs> you, seem really you seem so proud of me, Mom. I am. I was on a plane and I fell asleep and I had a vision from a technological madman. And it was me? It was Steve Jobs! Oh! Good but enough! I had a dream about you as well. Good enough. And... Thank you, Mom. Fashion Week is stupid. I chose the wrong... Son, I love you more now. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. And that's our show! Yeah. Yeah.